Hello again, welcome to my channel. I hope you're having a great day wherever you are, and do remember to subscribe if you haven't already. So, in my last episode, I teased a vessel called the Pelican, and here is the Pelican. So, this is a vessel I've used for many years now. It uses the OPT Space Planes parts pack, and yeah, uh, I love this particular vessel. It does require a bit of manual piloting as opposed to most of the SSTOs, but I've got used to it nowadays. It tends to yaw when you roll, so it is something you've got to watch out for when flying it, but generally, you're only ever flying it in a straight line anyway. And so here we are in orbit and we're going to start building a very simple station and out of the central cargo bay comes the core section. This just comprises of a fuel tank, an ISRU unit and a couple of basic solar panels. This is just because there is not enough electric charge on the core section. The batteries are stored on the arm sections. So close up that central cargo bay, open up the side ones, and we can get the arms out and start manoeuvring them into position. Okay, and that will be the second arm dock to the station once I get there. This station is purely just for recovering fuel, so it still requires an ore tank of some sort. It doesn't have one just yet, but what I tend to do is I tend to use the vessel ore tanker as the actual ore tank. So once that gets emptied, then I can go and replenish it. All I need to do now though is just attach a rocket to this and send it anywhere it needs to go. And so here we are just going for re-entry. The only thing you need to take from this section of the video really is that the entire vessel is a huge air brake basically. So it does have air brakes, it doesn't really have the need for them though because of its huge body area. Okay, and here we are coming in for a landing now. And don't worry, I haven't accidentally overshot the runway. This is my intentional re-entry profile anyway. I always like to overshoot the Kerbal Space Center by just a little bit because I like to land on the field the other side in this direction because then all I've got to do is turn around, get on the runway and go again. There would normally be a fuel station set up at the end of the runway at the direction that I'm facing right now, right at the end there, but on this particular save I don't have one because this is just my sandbox save. This particular vessel does cost one and a half million credits to launch so it's not a cheap puppy but it is 100% reusable. All I have to do is land, you'll see where I end up finishing in the end. There would normally be a fuel station there. I then launch the modules themselves which are usually on wheels and then I just drive them into the cargo bays. Then I can use an engineer in orbit and remove the wheels. I'm glad we can do this nowadays because you should have seen my stations back in the day all covered in wheels. <laughs> we do what we must though, right? And with that successful touchdown, that is the end of this mission and the end of this video. I do hope that you've enjoyed it and do remember to subscribe for future updates. For now, I am Shalectra, keep the pointy side up and I will catch you next time.